or existed? I have to click through 24 different uh, side operations. <laughs> Gonna go heat up my wrap in a second. I found the Mortem Durr map. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. There we go. It's, I think, uh, I, I'm, I'm pinning it. <laughs> yeah. They played us like a damn city. That was ours! We built it! <laughs> uh, what's a funny, um... Uh, <laughs> Freddy, when he's at... When he's at the you see it? <laughs> you see it, Zach? Yes, I do. <laughs> Why is Zoogmer so small? Oh, you covered oh, yeah. up the... You covered up my, uh, Among Us. But I made it better, look at it. <laughs> Zogmar, shopping G. My Among Us is covered up. <laughs> I'm delete it. My, 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 I can't. I can't for some reason touch my Among Us because he's underneath Falsa. Why'd you move the thing? Oh my god, it was so much better. <laughs> I can't remove the other Among Us. Bowser's over. Uh, so I will be back momentarily. There we go. I'm an art master. Oh, I need to do something real quick. I'm just going to just make more sense. I, there we go. I... I missed Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Joe is sham wow on <laughs> roll 20, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's fine, I figured it out, but still. <laughs> <laughs> sham wow. I can't believe Ryan moved it, dude. It was so much funnier where that sussy talk was. So much funnier. <laughs> Yo, soul kiss reveal? What? Sulcus. I'm not the only one. See the, like, landmass to the left of the, like, tail? Doesn't that kind of look like a monkey? It <laughs> looks like, like a monkey. It's, did you, you not open that? Roll 20 last session? <laughs> I don't think I did. <laughs> this, is, this has been the art for it, like. Yeah, yeah, but why is there a monkey? <laughs> I, I don't want to. I'm not crazy, right? Like, there's a monkey right here. Where? Can you please, like, <laughs> give me a second? Over there isn't! <laughs> no, what do you mean? No Zach, this Oh, has, wait, alright, now, now I see it. Now I see it. This hey, picture look, okay, has look. literally been my desktop background for two weeks, and I no, have not seen a monkey look, at all. Zach, I, what, I, unless I you're see meaning, it. Okay, are you saying that this look, is an eye, uh, this I, is an eye, I, this is the mouth, nose. and this is the mouth right here? No, I see it. No, yeah, I yeah, see it. Nose. <laughs> And then mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I see it. Why is there a monkey? That's not intentional. Why'd you put a monkey? <laughs> no, not ulti. <laughs> I don't want to open GeForce experience. I just saw the upcoming events message. <laughs> The upcoming events message? <laughs> Hold on, I'm showing, no. I'm showing that in the video and I'm highlighting the part that's making me laugh so much. <laughs> what? The da oh, the dash fuck command? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> the what 
command? The dash fuck command. <laughs> what is the dash fuck <laughs> command? It doesn't do anything right now. I could make it do something. <laughs> what would it do? No, uh, whatever you want it. Hang on, I'll be right back. God damn it! <laughs> 17 <laughs> minutes ago. I posted it as soon as it turned 618. <laughs> also, <laughs> game, um, bot that joke yeah. plays YouTube links now. I, I saw, why do you think I posted so many Craigasms right after? <laughs> and yeah, I posted so many. Because I know that you, um, you had to go and make them all into, like, <laughs> WAV files. Dude, the thing I had to do, I'm, and then after I did that, they're all like super bit crush. I had to re-download all of them. <laughs> um, the only thing I ask is that you put, I don't know. Um, it's probably fine. Yeah, can you put uh, Chester's roll C O S F above, um. Actually, no, it's fine. Leave it. Never mind. Then I could just give him every roll. <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> it, it will like, it will like message you if you do that. Uh oh. Nah, it'd probably be fine. But um, <laughs> I'll just keep that as is. I think it works for now. It's still in every channel. This is the like, the like Halloween campaign, right? Or, I mean, I think, I think Brian wanted to do a Halloween one shot. That'd be if, fun. Yeah, as I well. And wait, what does he mean? Three minutes, forty four seconds, and two minutes, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> D &D. That's not how time works. <laughs> it's probably two minutes away. Dude, man, Brian's the type of person who just spammed a 30 second thing until <laughs> it's done. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I do that. No. D do you not? It's, <laughs> no. It's a lot easier. I thought you said that in the Hue time. voice. I thought there's a, Hue there's was a reason me why in there a microwave. Alright, there are a reason why there are buttons on a microwave. You're supposed to put in the time. What's up? Why are you talking about microwaves? I was joking how you probably like just spammed a 30 second button. That's what I do. I have never used the number buttons on a microwave before. Mm. Wait, I'll do it if that? it's more than three start presses. Okay, mm. I I I'm not talk I'm not talking about work, alright? <laughs> no, no. I, I have a request. Oh god. There's a character I need you to put into your camera. Oh no. I need you to put the peg legged racist man in your campaign. <laughs> oh no. What? <laughs> oh yeah. I need you to put in the peg legged racist man with a very thick hillbilly accent. <laughs> <laughs> you say southern accent. What what kind of reference? What reference are you going for? That is a reference to something I fucking bore. It's with a reference to real life. Hey, Caden. Yeah. When did uh, Drogo's get an inspiration point? He's like always had one. I think from like, for like, I think it was from near like the beginning of your campaign. He's like, we you gave everyone one, and then we never used it because I don't know how inspiration works. <laughs> I don't remember giving it. Do you remember what it was for? No, it, or it might have been in Brian's campaign. I don't know. It was probably Brian because I I um, only gave out like two inspiration points. Yeah, I don't remember giving you an inspiration point. I forgot I don't, they existed. So <laughs> yeah, I don't I, know. They work. He was like, no. I don't even know how they work. So basically, <laughs> it's uh like if the DM likes what you're doing, he gives you one, and it's like. Depending on how often he gives one out, um, or it's 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 just it's like, up to the DM what it yeah. does, basically. All right. Yeah, like I I, I usually just use it like advantage. Like and that's yeah. that's what I've always like known it to be used for is to, like re-roll. Yeah. Basically, the way I used it because I only gave out like two. It's like a almost like guarantee. Mm-hmm. That your check or save or attack will crit or succeed. 
Yeah. Yeah. And if it's something like crazy, then I might make you roll, and then I'll just use it as like a plus ten or something, just to make it always like really good. You're a good rap. But now that you're the DM, you can use it and just kill the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what is what do you mean, kill. If you're too inspired Our so you kill. die instantly like what do you mean <laughs> if the if the DM i'm just uses, making a joke if the dm uses power word kill it's pretty lame i swear mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> use it on a d d d every sound effect so you hear <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so i don't know Alright, oh, there, 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 the Balazar, oh. Balazar, you hear? Hello. Hi. Uh, Bug Steve. Traitorous bastard. Hi. What's up? I'm eating food. Nice. Should, should never mind. Uh, it's Chester here. Mm -hmm. Chester's playing sweet tunes on his loot. Yeah. Actually, he's got a turntable, but... Uh, Drogo's Trader, you here? No. Oh, rip. Well, it could, it's not, he's not showing up. <laughs> uh, it's humorous demise. I just got done eating me some peanut M&Ms. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Skelebros. I am here, uh, terrified for my life. Isn't... I'm not sure if you guys heard that. Zagmar, or sorry, Zagmar shopping. <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. Where am I? Hell. All right, uh, for, for uh, Brian, do you need a bit of time just so you can finish eating, or? Nope. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, well, there's always listen listener questions. <laughs> I'm just. <d> <laughs> it's. You have words, you can use them. We <laughs> can't hear you. Uh, it's... <laughs> just probably turn off your camera, it's ruining the recording. Probably. No, there. I have it so I like uh, it. I had it on the, uh... The Roll20, because I was drawing. <laughs> Oh, drawing. Um, one moment. All right. I'm getting, oh my god. <laughs> I don't look at roll twenty for half a second. There's so much stuff going on. No, wow. I, just, I just drew three <laughs> cubes in varying colors. I know, but still, it's just I don't remember Pog Monkey being there. <laughs> Pog <laughs> Monkey. I don't remember Pog Monkey being there. What the fuck? <laughs> so I'm sorry. I just wanted to draw Pog Monkey. All right, Demon listener champ. questions. Uh, we literally don't have any right now. They're, they're not posting. Hey, listeners, five dollars and above, you can post post a question. You, you ask and they'll answer. I right? got another DM from Dirt Wad. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I guess we can read that one off. What's it say? say. I, don't, I don't know if you want to. He didn't <laughs> read off the last one either, so we've got two. Yeah, we got two. Just for context, somehow the text said warning: this uh, image contains sensitive material. The text said that, so I had to like <laughs> click to view. So, you sure you want me to read it? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'm sure it's just filter being dumb. One second, I'm grabbing it. <laughs> so, what he said to me is, Democracy is beautiful in theory. In practice, it is a fallacy. You in play a glad will see that someday. I'm not sure what he means by that. <laughs> Are we going to have to fight Dirtwad? Uh, he also said, like, underneath that, he says, We become strong, I feel, when we have no friends upon whom to lean or to look to for moral guidance. I'm not sure what Dirtwad's trying to get at, uh, but uh, I just. Uh, I'm He's... not quite sure. This truly is the Dirtwad arc. I guess. All I, all I can say to Dirtwad is, um, I you might want to seek help. What about the le the DM that you didn't read out last time? Oh God, um, I'm so sure you to go to https 
colon slash slash www.patreon.com backslash coalition of swell fellas and give your support there what he said yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll be able to meet bug steve in real life if you do <laughs> Uh, if you if you come up to me in person, I will hurt you. <laughs> you hurt here, f- f- folks. If you wish to be hurt, then yeah, come on. I should change my name from Sham Wow. Probably. How about um, <laughs> Skelly Bros? Hey, we should probably play D and D. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's not out of the ordinary. <laughs> We've been recording for 16 minutes now. It's, yeah, this yeah, is how every session right. has to start. <laughs> Let's start with at least 10 minutes that's of just when, doing it. Alright, so basically... Yeah, um, whenever I, like, timestamp, I just put, like, a... I, I just mark that as, as like... Actual pre- start. <laughs> the as, the yeah, pre-game. Like, pre-game is... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Uh, Dungeon <laughs> Master of Dungeons & Dragons. It's too formal of a title. All right. So if you guys remember last session, I kind of hope you do. Um, you remember that we all woke up after, you know, a week of sleeping. Weird. What? <laughs> what? What's wrong? Ryan? Whatever. Ryan? <laughs> I was just making a joke like I didn't remember. So I said what? Oh, you son of a <laughs> I was just being an ass. Yeah, we. we yeah. <laughs> that ends the <a> session. <laughs> all right. So you were sleeping for a week, then you all woke up, except other than the skeletons. And after a nice deep breakfast, you've revealed everything about yourselves. You know, past goals, all of that. Um, I need to click off the unique commands. Um, then, and after a very ominous vision. You all real the Jurgos had a revelation of a new threat, or rather an old one returning, that being Darthag and his cult re-emerging in our in Arcosia, his home realm. You all traveled there, braved through that the horrible desert, and came and made it over to the place where he was being resurrected. After halting the ritual, which was far too easy, it was then where the truth was revealed, where Drogos had set it all up the week prior and he claimed his birthright as a dragon and now he seeks to destroy all of Solkus, aka the planet you're on now after some words to you he left you all back in yarns or yarn whatever it's called and, and you all were gazing at the, the shocked face of gemini dead just stuck to this post in a fire and we begin from there That bastard would pay. I'm gonna kill him. I can't believe right after we have the discussion about skinning people alive, he decides to tra- become a traitor. I guess he must like that stuff. Fuck! Uh, what do we do? I don't really want to, you know, die in the desert. Hey, I can't believe I got betrayed by someone I knew for an hour. Is that a record? <laughs> yes. Nice! So anyway... I yeah. am lamenting Wh- this occasion. Where are we? What is this place? I do not know. We might be... Nimonis? Uh, um, looking around, uh, it's all like burning buildings, right? Yeah, oh, I've... Try, uh, you probably you did not, yeah. I no, I forgot to change the map. Sorry, yeah. And this this like, is what you all see. Dogma over in roll so, 20. Are we gonna have to like go back to the desert? I, I, I just what is going on? And kind of looking around, can Bug sort of look around to see if he can see anything, uh, major? I, uh, yeah, go and do a perception check. First one, well, well, Bug is oh no. That <laughs> and feel the ground to see if it's still sand or if it's something different. Um, as you, as you feel the ground, alright, um, it's like a very, like, scorched dirt, almost. As if something, as if there was just fire all over here. 
There's still like some fires raging over near the buildings or slash tents, but for the most part, all you see is just it's just scorched earth. And then, but you don't only really see the like burning buildings or tents. Wow. Um, and you just see massive blood stains all over the place. Uh. And you see almost like a trail leading up to that like big bonfire in the middle. Guys, uh, you see the blood going to that bonfire? Yes. Unfortunately. We should probably go check that out. Um, I guess, get ready for a fight? And Bug sort of, like, uh, grabs his normal rapier and readies it. Balasar will walk up to the fire pit. Alright. On the fire pit, uh, you don't see any bodies here. You just see this, th- that same ethereal blue flame just, just burning away at ashes beneath. But pinned to it, you see a note. You can't... It's That's not being affected by the flames at all, even though the flames are flicking it all over. So I will reach, just, we'll reach out and grab the note. Alright. Um, I'm assuming you're going to be reading it out loud? Yes. Alright. I'm just going to say what I read then. On one side, it is covered in blood. But... Oh. But you can still make out a few words of of um, handwriting that just says Drogos can't be trusted. That's, and then you can see he intends, and then it, you can't make out anything else. It's just because there's so much blood. However, when you flip it over, there is another side. This one is far more legible than the other one. As you look over it, I was there and start reading it out loud. <laughs> And you just start feeling this weird feeling. It's hard to describe. I feel as if this a like feeling. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> as, as you're reading it, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, this side says uh, one moment. It says one moment. Ah, brilliant. Boss, I'm gonna stand and wait. Invisible ink. And then suddenly the rest of the t- like, he's standing at ease, kind of looking around. <laughs> He'll glance down at his non-existent wristwatch every few minutes. <laughs> After about five seconds, the rest of the text appears. Wow. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, and it says in very like harsh handwriting. If our previous meeting didn't get my intentions across, then then this certainly will. If you all wish to stop me, stop the cataclysm, don't you? Then you all should have a chance in. And travel to Billy Bonk Forest and start the trials of the Draxona. They will give you the chance to fight me and the death tyrant Darthag. After oh. this... I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're confused about how you get there... Let his, un- let his son's underling show you the way. When you finish this trial, each of you have one prepared. All of you must finish it for a chance at the Cataclysm Breakers. We, I await you. He certainly awaits you. That's all. And then it just ends there. You tell whoever, you can tell it was probably Drogos who wrote it. And you can just, and it just cuts off really abruptly, like it was super rushed. Balasar crumples up the note. It's it almost like he wants us to like fight him. Good. Yeah. This is straight. This feels like a trap. It most certainly is. And trials is like. I uh, honestly, I did not expect today to go like this at all. Yes, um... This, um... So, um... Why do we never get the easy jobs? Honestly, I would have been pretty content to spend another week in bed, I guess. Yeah. Suddenly from behind all of you, because I assume you're all, like, facing the fire. Just, like, yeah. looking and, like, mm-hmm. talking with each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, from behind you, you all just hear this whooshing noise and electricity cracking. And assume you all turn around. Bug's gonna hit the deck. <laughs> Alistar is going to turn around and draw his sword. 
And before you sends a very familiar skull of uh, Darthag. And and immediately you're all just frozen, can't move like how you were in Arcosia and his pet nailed it. And but you can still speak as the skull just grins at each and every one of you. Other great loser comes back. It's Gygax. Come back from all loot lame caveman activity there. <laughs> That just simply grins still. <laughs> just <laughs> just looks completely think... unfazed. Guys, I don't think he speaks English. I think he only speaks caveman. Ah, uh, perhaps. Are you sure about that? The only few brain cells he has left. <laughs> and we were working real hard. And then the, so the, the five dots just sort of enter your mouths from his... Uh, <laughs> from his, uh, the dots flowing around him sort of enter your mouths and you can't talk anymore. Okay. He sort of paralyzed you. Paralyzed your ability to speak. To continue to try and talk through them. It's nothing comes out. <laughs> now he's just cursing. Bug's gonna think, just, Bug's just gonna think mean things about this guy. How do you like you are now, Coalition? Iron Dragons, he clearly did so much work here. All noble. <laughs> no, be quiet, Balazar. Your brash decisions anyway cost that dwarf his life. <laughs> he just sent <laughs> <laughs> he keeps grinning. <laughs> keeps grinning, and he gets, he gets really close to you and says, uh, "You, All you bring is death, Balazar. You would serve well with the tyrant of death. And then it backs up. And then he gazes, and he sends his gaze on humorous, you know, and says, Now I know everything about you, Boonshackle. Past, name, and exactly how to exact revenge. Your second death will be as heartbreaking as your first. And then he turns over to Bug and says, Obnoxious rat. I was within his head. It was you I could stand the least. But seeing you now, and knowing you a bit better, the possibilities of your torment are endless. <laughs> then he looks over at Zogmar with a very... If you could... If, if a skull could have a puzzled expression, Darthag would have one right now. <laughs> says, I'm not sure what to do with you. You're a demon, yet you still serve peace. I should leave you for him. He you know he would know best. Then he looks over at Ambrose, and he just simply shakes his head with nothing to say to you. <laughs> then Darth Egg backs up again. And he says, All right, I've said my words here. The cultists that you have slain. They seek revenge, and I should... Who am I to deny them my, that privilege? I was the one who gave them their power. Farewell for now, Coalition. And then he disappears, and in this blue lightning, as you all look forward, three uh, cultists start to appear. You vaguely remember them, though this time they from your time in Warham. This time they look different significantly darker, almost ethereal, and um, they sort of have just this look about them, as if like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to reveal them, but alright. And then they just sort of stare at you with this weird mask over their face, and just are glaring at each and every one of you. In beginning, and you all are Unfrozen, by the way, which begins our first uh, combat sequence. Yeah. <clears throat> Channel's already in combat. Cool. Are they? Are they right here? Because they are very hard to see. Because they don't have nameplates. Yeah, they are there. Okay. Oh, they're, they yeah. all have nameplates. Are, are these them right here? The ones that I'm highlighting. So, yeah, yeah, that's them. So I, they yeah. don't have nameplates. They're just so, very we can only see our own names because you need to like double click on each like thing, and uh, there's a checkbox that says uh, like. Uh, like let players like see but not edit. I think. 
a moment. So you have to double click on them. In. It's very annoying, but you have to do that for like everything, or, or we can't see the. the oh, token. token. F word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. Finally, I get um, to kill something. Um. No, if you guys just don't control, I'm just gonna set. I'm just gonna do this now. Can you see the first one? Yes. We yes. Can. All right. I'm just gonna set so everyone can control them. Please don't mess with them. <laughs> Wait. Can it's I just, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, please don't mess with them. <laughs> All right. What is this going on here? All right. I right, know we can actually do this. There we go. All oh, right, I forgot about uh, that. It's that number right? two is missing as well. Yeah. Did my input just got eat? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, and uh, we you can't see number two, by the way. And number one has um. aura around it. I didn't even. All right, somebody messed with I that. Put, I put the aura so they're easier to see. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we can't see number two. That is interesting. Um, oh, probably because I didn't actually press save settings. <laughs> Unless you still <laughs> yeah. can't. No, we can see. All right. And because I am horrible at testing things before, uh, how does how do you add multiple commands at the same time? Dash in, space, the number mm -hmm. at the end of it. Thanks. Oh, yep, and probably one other thing real quick. Uh, music time. <laughs> Jellyfish jam. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is Zogmar missing one health? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> why does he have... Mm, he has one temporary age. How do you do... How do you do the next one? <laughs> I that, next. Yeah, and it's explanation point. Oh, it's yeah. a, oh. I didn't uh, for Avray. I think he was talking about the oh. music bot. Oh. 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 So. <laughs> All right, then I can just do <laughs> play this. Work, please. There we go. <laughs> oh, All right. This one, All awesome. right. In combat is Ambrose. Um, are we supposed to fight these guys? <laughs> <laughs> they are very menacingly <laughs> just staring at you. <laughs> With it, and two of them, the two in the back have great sword strong, and the one in front has a dagger out. You look like you're made of toothpicks. I've ripped out one of your hearts, I shall do it again. Um, sorry, new character. I have to look at some stuff. Yeah. Come on. Quote unquote new character. For, 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 for some reason, Zogmar had one temporary HP, so I had to get rid of it. <laughs> because of my funny button I press all the time. I don't know if I get three attacks anymore, because I'm level five. Um,. You have extra. Yeah, like Wasn't that attacks. a way of the long open hand thing, though? No. No, you're long. Oh, never mind. Uh, I could do attack. two extra with way of the long. I mean, not way of the long hand. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maximus. <laughs> new, new style. Um, way no. of the long. <laughs> yeah, I do get extra attack. Yeah. No. So you can attack twice. Uh, I can attack three times. Oh yeah, funny monk. Get him, Let's Ambrose! Go for blows. All right. You look like as you're you, made of toothpicks. As you punch, you, your fists themselves they connect solidly. Like they may be a bit more ethereal, but they can still connect as hard as ever. But that necrotic energy that flows from your that just flows from you now sort of just goes around them. And not really doing anything, but just like tickling essentially. And is that in your turn, Ambrose? Yes. Alright. Next is Bowser. Funny sword time. <laughs> is that in character? 
<laughs> Funny sword. Time. No, that is not in character. Which one has the, uh, which ones have the great swords and which one have the Uh, two and three. Okay. Uh... Malasar will rush number three. And hit him twice with my sword. Give me a second, because I have to do it. Reroll the damage on that. On oh, the attack to actually hit. Yeah. Uh, All right. Savage attacker. Should I just roll? You would roll. Hit? Yeah. Just roll a d10. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure how you were how you want to do it. And, oh, nice. and a d4 because that's part of your damage. Right. Or fuck. All right. Hey, is an increase um, in, of two. So you two, you know, yeah. Two yeah. more two damage. Then I'll, then I'll do that. All right. Um, how do you set HP again for stuff? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think it would be the same damage because he did. He rolled less on his uh, fire. I don't think he has to take it though. No, it doesn't. He doesn't take it. It's uh, I, I think he can choose to take the uh, D10. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's yeah. You re-roll so can... all the damage die for that attack, and if it's higher, you take it. I can choose. So it I should be that, it. right? Pretty sure. I'll find out. Just I was don't, just typing that. Yeah. Just don't do set negative two because it'll put his health at negative. <laughs> fucking kill. Not R E. <laughs> not R three pound R E pound sign. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> work, DMs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So yeah, Injured. your slashes, they sort of phase through. The first one just misses entirely, but the second one phases through, kind of. But, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the fire does still, like, just linger about, kind of searing the edges of the uh, clothing, of Colts' clothing. Is that end your turn, Elzar? Yep, that's all I can do. All right. It is RE1's turn, all right. So as this cultist faces you, Ambrose, it doesn't say anything. It just sort of hisses at you. And then, um, one moment. And then it's, um, and it, it roars out its dagger towards you and electricity arcs out of it. And it casts a shocking grasp on you. That's the electric. The electric, electric chair, chair spell. Yeah. <laughs> we were literally just talking about that like an hour yeah. ago. And it hits, and you're shocked. <laughs> right, you weren't expecting it. <laughs> you don't remember them having uh, having lightning powers, but, you know, this one does. Your silly magic tickles. It's just... <laughs> and that ends his turn. And Zogmar. Alright. Uh... Let's see. Sogmar is going to move up here. Oops, I double clicked. Then he's going to move. Uh, yeah, he can do that. he's going to move like this, like a, like a uh, chess piece. And then, <laughs> um, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, uh, you see uh, both of his hands light on fire, and uh, he's going to make two quick jabs at Re2. All right. That was the wrong button! <laughs> I will fix that later, don't worry. I messed up a button. <laughs> I can, macro uh... Macro moment. Macro moment. I spot the macro user. Yeah. So, his first punch... God, that noise. And his second punch. Thank you. Wait, no! <laughs> That's <laughs> negative 8 to very HP. Wait, what? How does that work? No, no. it's just no, it's minus 8 because it got rid of the 8 health. Uh, they usually just oh, okay, flatlines okay. to 0. 
doesn't even display. Yeah, that's weird. It's fine. It's... <laughs> and then he's going to... Uh, you, you see him make these two, um, like, uh, like, quick, um, like, jabs, and you, and you see him, like, like, retract for a moment, and you see, uh, the, uh, like, all of his hair, that's, like, fire, kind of, like, uh, like, expands outward more, as if, like, someone just put more, like, coals on the, uh, like, fire. Uh, and he's gonna use a, uh, a, uh, key point to attack one more time. Which, that should work, yeah. Yeah. And one more time. Spacro user. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, uh, all of these jabs, like, kind of just, like, are, like, really, like, really quick. Like, he seems to be trying to, like, break them down, not actually, like actually like uh like injure them it's quite weird looking all right but, uh that ends his turn he just... yeah all your strikes they connect and still with this like kind of half ethereal mass of you know like, that looks vaguely like a person but because of your empire your fiendish nature the uh fire just sort of is the thing that's doing all the work here these flames yeah. are just sort of spreading around all of them awesome. with every strike Next is RE3's turn. That's not the one you just fight attacked. Alright. Um Balazar Yeah, I know. Um <laughs> This one uh, RE3 faces you, Balazar, and and just silently hefts his sword and just strikes straight down. Oh shit. I almost hit I Max, that would have been funny. <laughs> ND ten damage in time. I know how to spell your name, clearly not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? <laughs> so, the uh, sword leaves into your like shoulder, just makes like a slash across your chest, going straight through your armor, and you just feel this cold burn in your where the wound hit, or where the sword hit, and you just feel slightly weaker now, and that ends its turn. With humorous next. All right, so. Bounds, are you gonna try not to get hit by those? <laughs> Shut. <laughs> All right, so uh, from where he was standing, he's been like silent ever since the the big reveal of Drogo's being the traitor. He's just gonna just solemnly grab uh, Sehanin's moonbow and just raise it up and point it towards um. Let's see which one that is. Re two. And as mm -hmm. he just holds the bow out, he reaches into his quiver and grabs two arrows and kind of like twirls them around in his hand before lining up a shot and fires two arrows at uh, RE2. Alright. So let me go ahead and... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and these two, like, arrows glow as they leave the bow and turn into like think of like star wars blast or like beams but <laughs> but white and just go into it because i don't think i've ever explained what happens to the arrows after they get shot might have earlier but yeah it's a pretty good description as they hit him he just sort of like stumbles back a bit and confused but his gaze is just still set on zogmar right. he completely shrugs off the blows he was just gonna stay where he's at where he's at just keeping an eye on Bug beside him and looking towards everyone else as well. Alright, I assume that ends your turn then. Yep. Cool. Alright, <laughs> Bug, it's your <laughs> turn. <laughs> so, Bug, uh, for his turn, first thing he's going to do is moving around Hugh, he's gonna move to right here, and then much like Hugh, he's gonna pull out his hand crossbow and attempt to fire at RE3. Alright. Alright. Bungus crossbow moments. Oh, 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> Inspired, inspired by Hugh's uh, excellent marksmanship, <laughs> Bug just sort of looks at, like, sort of aims in and looks at Hugh and goes, Am I doing it right? Before firing. Hugh just kind of, like, watches the arrow just whiz through the air and just, like, sink into this guy. And he, uh, <laughs> he goes right into his ear. <laughs> Hugh, like, turns his head with his bow still out looking to Bug and just nods a little bit before looking back to RE2. Alright, nice! Uh, and, uh, one second. Oh, for, hit, uh, Bug is also, uh, going to, uh, call forth his sir sword with, a with a little phrase of Fly Phoenix, and flying forth is the Flaming Rapier. Alright. And Bug is going to have the sword, uh, fly, oh. Who was that third red? <laughs> what? <laughs> no comment. Bug has the sword sidle up alongside Balasar, and then, as uh, along with that bonus action, it's going to make an attack. All right. And sort of, as the blade thrusts itself into the uh, uh, wraith and the fire, so it just starts to spread over it. Bug just lets out like a tiny like chuckle, just like, <laughs> and thus ends his turn. All right. Oh, I'm just I'm just changing HP around a bit because um, you know, magical piercing. But for some reason, Avid doesn't feel like incorporating that. <laughs> Uh, so... What do you know? mean? Because magical piercing would go through any resistance, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. don't... Magical piercing isn't real, so that's why. <laughs> yeah, I think that might yeah. be why. It's a, uh, special thing. Well, I'm, I'm pretty exactly. sure it's magical damage goes through, like, resistances. Yeah. That's the entire point of it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna change it, it's fine. Uh, it's... Yeah, there we go. Alright, and... It said end of your turn, right? Yep. All right. It's our, the Zogmar one turn. <laughs> yeah, Nailed it. One. Wow. Zogmar. Um, <laughs> and it's very similar in his fashion to the one that Bowser is fighting. He just puts his sword in uh, two hands and just splashes straight down on you, Zogmar. All right. If I can spell attack. There we go. Nat 20 incoming. Zogmar dies in one hit? If... I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, miss. <laughs> but you sort of just... <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, but it sort of just... You Funny narrowly thing. avoid it. And it just goes straight down into the ground. And he lifts it back up and just... So sort over one shoulder just stares at you. And... and... It ends his turn. You're gonna and have it's to be faster. Turn. You're gonna have to be faster than that sun. Just the Ambrose is just <laughs> kind of like eyeing Zogmar and Balazar next to him. Um, and he's going to try to do grab. Um, the like. What did you say? The like wraith? Uh, it's like a fifth. It's like a spectral kind of thing. Like you can yeah. still grab it, but yeah, wraith is probably best description. I'm, I'm gonna try to grab the wraith and like pull it away so they're not in such a tight formation. All right. Uh, I'd say roll a strength check for that. Um, one moment. Road D20 in secret channel. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you yeah, you're able to like uh just grab it and then are you trying to like turn it around? I'm trying to pull it straight back like 15 feet. Um yeah, I'd say you can do that. Like you 
it like it's very like resistant and like obviously it's like kicking against you but you can still do it but you still get it back over to where you want it Ooh. <laughs> um and then i'm gonna use my extra attack to make one punch all right Does grapple count as part of the attack action? I think so. It's it's the main action. It's pretty major. But extra attack works on specifically the attack action. That's why I was asking. I didn't know if grapple counted for attack. I was kind of thinking that like Ambrose was just like elbowing him, like as you like dragged him away. But yeah. it's up to you, Caden. Yeah, I'd say, let's just say, like, you, like, punched him first to disorient him, and then you started dragging. Okay. Alright. And I'm that will definitely end your turn. <laughs> yeah. That, that's... come help me! <sighs> and Bowser. thing I can do. <laughs> Die. It was, it was almost like a response. I'm doing the only thing I can do. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll my last damage. Because <laughs> that is no. That is no. No, that is no. I, if you do, um... Three more. Yeah, yeah well, no. three more damage. <laughs> I, I'm just mad. Mm. Yeah, your first hit just completely whiffs, <laughs> but you, you kind of like use your momentum, swing down to like do like another slash up <laughs> in Scultist, and yeah, again the fire seems to be doing more of the work than your sword is. And I assume ending your turn is re one. All right, who's Bloody, but I did not notice that. Wow. <laughs> um, You're coming with me. Uh, the cultist uh, tries to back up, this time invoking an opportunity attack by you, Ambrose. You're not getting away from me. And Ambrose just kind of like winds up, spins around, and then clocks him in the side of the head with a haymaker. Ambrose doesn't get advantage on this, right? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> but as you punch, he just sort of backs up and then almost like a jump and he, like, jumps back and then this time out from the dagger, he, like, sort of slashes it and out of it, a skeletal hand <laughs> reemerges, much like the one that Drogos used to have randomly. And, it, and he will cast Chill Touch on you. We have so many of those gifts, <laughs> Brian. What? So many of them. That's not even, dude. That's Muhammad Ali. I know. It's just. Oh. You mean a gif of people walking? Yes, <laughs> I have many. Why are all the spells doing two damn? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Chill Touch also have an effect against undead? Um, He's a necrotic und undead, though. I thought. Or... Well, with un general undead, doesn't it slow them? Because I remember it slow. I'm I'm going I'm going to make sure that that's not the thing I just oh, oh my god. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> you ever just have such long eye eyebrows that they curl up? <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So undead will have disadvantage against uh. Mm, that one. So Ambrose, whenever you attack RE1 for next turn, he will, it will be at disadvantage. Okay. But yeah, as the hand grabs you, it sort of like, it kind of like just grabs your hands mainly, and as it like replicates as you're grabbing it, and it sort of just has your hands like. Stop holding like, my like, hand! Yeah, it's just like holding your hands basically as no. you're like fist balled up. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> just Zogmar. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. For, for Zogmar's first attack, he's going to try to uh, try to punch uh, Ari two in like the like stomach. 
to get them to like lean like towards him. So, all right. You just as you punch, you clearly didn't you didn't have that effect. That sounds like it's so long. Um, yes, I yeah. <laughs> that's fine. As you like punch through, he like sort of makes his body there a little more ethereal, and your hand just goes right through. Okay. Then with my other hand, I'm gonna punch up and try to punch him in the bottom of, of the jaw. All right. Yeah, this okay. one. <laughs> oh, that sound. <laughs> yeah, this one definitely connects. And you can see his jaw like just shift over as it's being just covered in flames, with some of them still lingering thereafter. All right. So I'm just gonna take a step back and. Uh... Prepare for retaliation. That'll end All right. Next is RE three turn. The Balazar one. <laughs> Yet again, um, Balazar with his signature uh, like it's just attack animation. At this point, <laughs> he takes out his sword and just slashes straight down. This time, going at a different angle. Like instead of like going from your left to right, he goes from right to left. <laughs> what I imagine Zogmar, I just imagine him like towering over his enemy, just <laughs> ripping their like guts out, <laughs> like a like a doom glory kill. Broke, oh, broke, broke, Well, technically, he's not. He's not wrong. <laughs> Sorry, this is cool. This is like slashing you. It just completely misses. It's just, it's really just sinking into to the dirt next to you. Humorous. You're up. All right. So after those two uh, arrow shots, Hugh is going to put up the moon bow and grab a hold of uh, like extirpation with one hand, and he's going to run past Ambrose. And like as he like gets about right here, uh, mm -hmm. he's gonna like look back to Ambrose and Bug and look back towards Zogmar and Ari too. And as he like goes right here, see, hold on, is that enough moving? Yeah. So when he gets past Ari one, like he's looking straight ahead and he grabs a hold of extra patient. And as he like rips it out of its sheath he spins like counterclockwise and gives like a clean slash to the back and then you're gonna try and do that again like to make like an x on his back all right so. yeah as you were like trying to, to attack to like attack him he was like about to like slash at you with a dagger but if you're attacked most likely you can catch him off guard and, at, and i misses. should mention that as he passes by ambrose and looks back at him and bug that uh like his goldish aura just boom, flames into like the dark green as he passes so right. let me do all the funny stuff here this is re1 right yes. yep Right. Oh, I don't know how much damage, how many X rolls there are. <laughs> and after those two slashes, he's like holding on, like he grasps it with the uh, two hands and looks towards like back and forth between uh, RE1 and RE2. That ends his turn. And, yeah, RE1 sort of like stumbles forward a bit, like clearly not expecting that. And this time he starts to look at you, uh, humorous. And Bug. Awesome. So, Bug is going to, uh, sort of, uh, taking inspiration from Hugh, he is going to... Yeah, sure. Uh, he's going to sheath his crossbow, and then, running at RE1, he's going to call his sword over, and have it make an attack next to him. Alright. Hmm. 
Nice. And also, uh, one thing... Has RE3 gone again yet? Because there should have been... I believe the fire effect... I can't remember if it takes place on my turn or their turn. I have to check it. Um, it's their turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I completely forgot about that, at honestly. The start of each, <laughs> at the start of each of its turns. It's at the very bottom of your attack, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh... All right, I didn't even notice that, so... Yeah, he would have gone, so just uh, roll a d8 then. I don't think he did. No, he did. He went uh, right... He, he goes um, right before you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where... Oh, there he is. Yeah, um, yeah, one sec. I have an attack for it. And then... yeah, so I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Bug, you're not hurt, right? You're at full HP? Yep. Okay. So I wouldn't get any health back. Yeah. It. Normally, you would get the damage back as health from the uh, fire damage. I was adding the magical piercing damage. Oh, okay. Two damage. Damage. Alright. Yep. <laughs> and so, as Bug sort of uh, runs for it, there's just fire everywhere, things are <laughs> burning. And there's a lot of fire. Bug goes insane, because he's on fire now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this counts, does it? Mm. I would say no. <laughs> yeah. You don't see any, like, bodies actually burning. Mm-hmm. You just, like, the most you see is, like, cloth burning. Isn't Zogmar on fire? That's a... Well... I don't think that counts. That doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, bug would be permanently insane. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that to Bug. <laughs> Zogmar's made of fire, so he's not technically on fire. <laughs> bug is getting that, angry. That end Bug's turn, by the way, or is still doing more? Uh, I believe that is the end of Bug's turn. All right. I too, I did a cap. Oh my god, why is it cap sensitive? <laughs> all right, all right, it's your turn. <laughs> and yet again, um, Zogmar, he just hefts his sword and does another slash at you, hoping to hit this time. That I need to add the eye, not. One sec. I almost said Zomgar. <laughs> all right, this time it hits, but it's like. But it like barely hits, like just barely grazing like your shoulder and a little bit on your like ribs. But you still feel that like cold burn throughout, like and it like actually burns instead of like what you're usually used to with fire, which is literally nothing. Yeah. And it's his turn, leaving Ambrose. Um, Ambrose takes a, like, large step forward with his left foot, um, then twists his left ankle until the back of his, like, heel is pointing towards the wraith. Um, right. and then he, like, brings his right leg up and pushes it as far forward, um, into the wraith as possible. And does a backward sidekick. Alright. With disadvantage. Oh. I thought he was doing the hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, as the, um... As you, your, like, leg sort of flies out, the, one of the skeletal hands that's around your hands just sort of reaches out and just grabs your leg and just stops it in midair. Ambrose, like, like... Inches away from him, from the cultist. Um, then spins around jumping and kicks with his right, I mean, left leg. Is this, yeah, this is also with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, oh. Rip. Rip. And then Ambrose again plants um, both his feet down. And with his left hand, he, like, 
punches towards its face, just using the momentum he, like, spiraled into. And oh my god! <laughs> and punches him, um, kind of in the jaw and into his brain and forces him a foot off the ground. Yeah, he like flies up and then right before he hits the ground just completely disintegrates into black smoke. Amherst omni Mando guy. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, alright. Yep, and that, um, I assume that will end your turn. Look, you have to punch those, alright? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and Ambrose kind of... <laughs> It's just like cheering. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Bowser. All right. Okay. Uh, damage reroll time. <laughs> I love the fact that I can do this once per fucking time. All right. I'm not using that. <laughs> yeah, you're. I just heard it. <laughs> what do you mean, reduce damage? Just straight up, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, <laughs> your sword just does what it usually does. Just sort of phases through the cultist, but still, like, you know, the flame's still affecting him for the most part. Hello, chat. That man is dead. That man is dead. Deaf into DM moments. <laughs> oh, nice. Should I wait? I should probably wait until he comes back. Yeah, this is sorry. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Zogmar just kind of towers over this, like, cultist, and, like, you see his eyes sort of, like, uh, like narrow. And uh, you hear his booming voice go, You dare spill the blood of a pyro fiend? Then I will truly show you no mercy. And then he's gonna grab for one of the spikes attached to their head. Yeah. And he's gonna try to rip it out, uh, kind of like spread the like flames from his like hand onto it, and then stab it into his right eye. That's what his first attack is gonna be. All right. Disguised it as a soul punch. <laughs> and then for his second attack, uh, still holding on to the uh, like spike in the eye, he's going to just like grab the like uh, the spike on the other side mm -hmm. and kind of use it as a uh, uh, just to like hold on to and he's going to uh like um like uh like tear down with the spike in the eye just like down the face <laughs> all right <laughs> oh <laughs> as you start to tear down you just the spike just kind of falls out and just goes ethereal as his body goes ethereal again and you right. just kind of punch the ground by accident. Yeah. That man has one eye. <laughs> it is RE3's turn. <laughs> um, I was already, this guy clearly can't learn his lesson after yeah. missing once. Uh, he's just gonna keep attacking you again with his uh, great sword. I can spell it properly. There we go. And yet again, he misses because this guy sucks at his job. I, I thought I was bad. Welcome to being a DM, Caden. Everything you make misses. <laughs> Plus seven. It's whatever. <laughs> Your mercy for turn. All right. As uh, he sees that, uh, looking back and forth, that uh, Ambrose has dispatched of Ari One, he's going to turn his attention back to. Uh, RE2 and RE3, and uh, he's gonna run up to uh, Zogmar's side right there, 
so he's in between both of them and uh, that green glow flames like brighter and he's just gonna slash like rapidly back and forth going to the left first to hit the side of RE2 and then immediately swinging you back to hit the side of RE3 and then to 2 right. and to 3 again. He's got an action surge, fighting spirit, attack both of them. Alright. So let me do the funny here. I need to remember to add my temp HP after this because I forgot to last turn. Wait. Uh oh. Joe? Yeah. We can attack uh three times, by the way. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I I'm just being dumb. Dis Open <laughs> hand monk can attack four times though. Oh, got it, okay. Disregard that. Um, if they use a key point, I mean. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use a key point if yeah. you're just attacking three times. Mm-hmm. You can only attack two times. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all hit. <laughs> they did all hit. Oh my. Right, so right. like in between the two, he just lets out this, like, cry of, just a primal, like, scream, just, Argh! and just slashes to the right, cuts into RE2, and then just r in a clean motion just rips it out and goes to the other side and hits uh, RE3 and just does that back and forth two more times before like resting for a minute like he's like like not out of breath but you can see he's wearing down already and that is All the right. end of uh, Hugh's turn alright alright probably like your turn wow that delay <laughs> So what Bug's going to do, uh, I think he is going to pull out his rapier, and at the same time, uh, he is going to travel with the sword and him, the sword, uh, his floating sword uh, traveling next to him. Alright. The sword is, uh, his floating sword is going to go past the enemy to behind them. And he's going to make an attack with the rapier in his hand, and then make another attack uh, with the floating rapier uh, behind RE3. All right. And you would have, yeah, the rapier behind would have advantage because wall flanking. Also, uh, oh, uh, RE3 also should have taken more burn damage. One second. Oh, wait, I didn't know how long it lasted. That was like a one turn thing. He needs to stop, drop, and roll for it to stop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> As soon as you just how much I know about fucking bug. <laughs> yes, to take the the action fire safety. Fire safety, I don't like that. <laughs> oh wow! Oh All right, <laughs> yeah. Woo! And the the flames are very much more intense on them. Starting to like sizzle his like flesh a little bit, or kind of quote unquote flesh. <laughs> so, a uh, bug charging him, the flame sort of uh, swelling with his presence. Uh, the sword floating next to him flies over RE3's shoulder and sort of spinning behind him. Bug slashes at the uh, sort of wraith in front of him, and as he does so, the sword behind him stabs into the uh, spine of the wraith. And sort of meeting in the middle, they, there's a little sort of chink as the two, uh, two touch within the wraith uh, before both uh, exit uh, the fiend's uh, soon to be corpse. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Alright, it's RE's two are the RE two's turn, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> so he he can't really he can still see you, but it's a little bit harder, which is slightly throwing off his uh aim. 
Oh, sorry, but it's not enough to really, uh, really, uh, you know. Funny ghost man, don't need eye. Yeah. Not dash Zogmar, dash cheese Zogmar. <laughs> dash Zogmar. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> It really actually did um, affect his vision a lot, and he just or, completely misses. <laughs> um, can Zogmar like does does uh does the sword like land in the ground? Yeah, it lands. It like completely whiffs, and it's just like right next to you in the ground. Um, can Zogmar try to like uh flip the blade on its side and like s and like step on it? Damn it, it's doing the shinobi step or whatever yes. it's called. It's, uh, I'd say you should roll a. I'd say a strength check. Okay. Uh oh. Huh. Alright. <laughs> one moment, OD is freaking out. There we go. Um. Oh, I'm just gonna. S that. Oh my god, alright, it's. As you do, he yanks it back with such an unnatural speed and <laughs> sets it right back on his uh, shoulder. Alright. And Alright. Ambrose, before you start, ooh, um, you hear like another crack of electricity behind all of you. And then Zogmar, you hear or sorry, Ambrose, you hear it the best, and you whip around and you see that another cultist has come out. Has been like spawned in basically. <laughs> God, he entered the Halo spawn closet. <laughs> the uh, Terminator <laughs> pose. <laughs> Ambrose um, begins walking, and while he's walking, he cracks his knuckles um, until he's about here. We also can't see the. Uh, there we go. Name. One. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I need to I need to adjust that real quick. Alright. Um is this one checking why is it one again? Whatever. Because Ari yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Can you see him now? Yeah. Yes. Alright. And since he doesn't have any um muscles anymore oh. he's he's free to like have his legs stretch as much as he wants. That's, that's... And he... Like... I mean, not like, apart from each other, because he still has ligaments, but like... He, his muscle... He's not restrained by his muscle... Muscle ligaments... And, I mean, tendons anymore, so... He like, roundhouses the... Wraith in the head. Alright. Uh, do I still have disadvantage? No. Okay. I went away with uh, Death of Ari One, or the act, the other Ari One. Yeah. Um. So he like brings his like leg up and roundhouses him in the face. Um. And then he brings his foot back down and, um, like. Reverse punches with his left hand. Um, and then he spins around doing a back kick. Um, trying to go like into his gut, and he uses stunning strike. Oh boy, it's <laughs> <laughs> the funny. And he has to make a. Uh. Thir he has to make a 13 on I forget which roll, but a DC 13 something. I'm going to assume if the target must succeed on a con save throw or be stunned. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Um, as you strike him, um, I'm just going to strike something. Uh, is, it, is that it? All right. <laughs> oh my god, of course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so as you do it, he's just like taken aback because he was literally just resurrected, basically. And he's just is like stopped and is just staring at you like, 
he's basically unable to move. Um, and by the way, it went through. Uh, you, you stunned him. You that stunned is the, guy. the first time that has gone through. <laughs> you, you stunned the guy. Um, I need to add, I need to add that condition. You know what? We I can just for it. I think. How long does that last? Uh, let me look. <laughs> you have two HP. <laughs> so then, oh no! Until the end of the next turn. Yep. <laughs> what is? He's All right. what? He's he's out of mana. Oh no! He has no mana. All right. <laughs> is that in your turn, Ambrose? <laughs> Yeah. He's stunned until the end of my next turn. Okay. All right. Um, Malzar. Sword time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally! <laughs> All right. Explain how you kill the uh, guy again. Uh, I bring my sword up and hit the arm that's holding the uh, the great sword. All right. And then immediately after that, uh. I just cut his head right off. Yeah, right. It just kind of like flies off, and then right before they both his body and head hit the ground, they yeah again yeah, disintegrate into black ash. Our will turn to look at this bitch here. What up next to Ambrose? All right. Oh wait, you have advantage. You can attack again. Oh, uh, okay. Because he's stunned. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, I, for I forgot. <laughs> All right, it's it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wait, let's say roll. <laughs> he, yeah, you, as you slash him again, you expect you're expecting him to dodge, so you sort of like preemptively did that, but you literally didn't move, so you just ended up missing completely. Next up is uh, Zomgare. Zomgare. Right. Shopping. <laughs> shopping. Who is shopping? He's gonna go shopping. Um, <laughs> for blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, um. Dead. He is going to, uh, for the first time, you see his right, uh, his right, uh, like, hoof, uh like, uh, light up in the same kind of fire, and he is going to, uh, he's going to kick, uh, the, like, the, like, uh, shin, so that, uh, he kind of, like, stumbles over. All right. That, that, that's the plan. The first attack. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely do that. You literally break his shin. <laughs> and, and as he, like, stumbles forward, Zogmar's gonna grab the, the, like, back of his head and slam it into the ground twice. Like, really? It's an x-ray? <laughs> yes. And, as that happens, uh, you see his like his like head like crack and you see this like dark mist start to like rise above the uh, now dead uh, cultist and it kind of like flies at Zogmar and it kind of like wisps around his body until it like turns the same like color as his fire and it kind of sticks to his skin and like pretty much everywhere is now like on fire like green on Zogmar he's fully just on fire and uh, then he's gonna run over here <laughs> my god and uh, he's gonna use a key point to attack with advantage because he's stunned stunning strike bands just kidding <laughs> does Zogmar get 10 HP because of the kill oh I can press the funny button Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and this is RE1. Yeah. Okay, it's with advantage, right? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is gonna, is gonna be a uh, normal punch to the face. All right. 
Oh my god. <laughs> nat 1, nat 20. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, you just... You you punch the guy, alright? <laughs> alright. It, it sort of like snaps back, and he because he can't move, his head just stays like, snap back. Yeah. <laughs> his neck is broken, but he's just completely ignoring it. Kind of. Well, kind of. <laughs> Yeah. Next right. guy is dust. <laughs> Harry, it's his turn. He's he's stunned. He can't do anything. <laughs> yep. Next, humorous. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So from where he is after seeing everything go down, Ari two is dead, correct? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Very dead. <laughs> he, oh yeah, that's the guy who's literally just yeah. died. He yeah, he's on. Yes, yeah. he Dogmar is on fire right now. So. Mm -hmm. He was going to, like, readjust himself, run this way, and just pass right by Zogmar, who is now on fire. And he was going to, like, from where he is, his head, like, snap back towards him, correct? Yes, it is. He's just going to try and, like, almost baseball swing. Like, try and, like, slash the back of his neck to, like, try and decapitate him. And just right. try to go all the way through and decapitate him. Who knows? Let's turn a nearly headless neck over here. Bro. <laughs> this is the new RE1. <laughs> yeah, the new RE1. <laughs> new and improved. No. <laughs> so the first slash, right. like, like, slices the back of it, but doesn't go through. And he, like, tries to do a second one in the same motion, but... Uh, I mean, he's stunned. How do I describe? Like, he kind of uh, reels you forward, and... I guess. It's, yeah, you like, you put a little too much in it, and your swing was a bit off. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and we'll end your turn. Breathing bug next. <laughs> um, this poor guy. <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, Bug, sort of looking around at the carnage around him. Uh, like, seeing all his friends, uh, just ganging up on this wraith. Uh, Bug is... <laughs> One second, I need to measure something. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Doing some math. Bug calmly uh, sort of saunters up uh, to right here, uh, sort of, and then looking at the wraith, he's going to pull out a little flute from his bag, and he is going to use the Bard's Wabajack. All right, I will, I will one moment, I'm, I'm. I'll send you the uh, the like link, Caden. Just drive it. Safe. Look, kind of yeah, looking around, and, like as he pulled out the flute, he goes, "Don't worry, guys, I got this." No, no, our, no, no. And this is the TPK. Did he just- did he just get it? Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> what did he no. roll? No. Oh, you, it's you over. You forgot to do 1D 10,000. Oh, did I? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, if he actually rolled a 10,000. Oh, he just got the I wish almost, spell. Yeah. I almost- I almost just had a heart attack. He would have legit just got the wish spell from that. Oh, oh. wow. All four uh -oh. is my favorite, my favorite number. Let's All go. Right. Four, 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 four. Let's go. Hey, that's a, that's a good, that's a good Jay-Z album. Uh, 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 Alright, what so the hell is this? So he casts, so he casts whatever it is onto this, onto this wraith. And sort of the thing coming out of it is like, boo, 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 doo, doo. It's just sort of... <laughs> This sort of like vibe coming out of the It's too insane. You don't have to do it, Caden. No, it's insane. just it's not too insane. It's just what the hell? It's so weird. <laughs> does, uh, anything, it's, does anything notable happen to the wraith? It's what, it, no, no, nothing happens. <laughs> Is you just playing a tune? Bug sort of really sad that this hasn't worked. Ah! <laughs> Rip. I I closed for twenty. Again, damn it! <laughs> the so out of nowhere, uh, the uh, bug so fire phoenix flies out of nowhere and stabs it as he goes. Ah! 
Hey. That sounds um, bad, <laughs> <laughs> well, a food didn't work, but that sword sure does. Sorry, I didn't instantly kill him, guys. All right, next is <laughs> I is fire now, I guess. <laughs> Ambrose, your turn is finally unstunned. <laughs> uh, it is until the end of my turn. But I mean, he'll still be unstunned. <laughs> You stunning strike! Do it! <laughs> I plan on it. Oh. <laughs> Monk moment. I'm only just now realizing how actually just busted that is. <laughs> yeah. It's just never hit before, but um, all right. Yeah, so that doesn't hit. Yeah, that's a whiff. Um, Ambrose is just kind of clambering around Balazar, Wouldn't and... Wouldn't it be with advantage, because he's still stunned until the end of your turn? Oh, oh, yeah! Why you say anything? Cool! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then he has to make a 13, 13. con. I don't know if he has disadvantage, because he's stunned. I'm just, I'm just gonna... I don't think so. Yeah. He auto fails strength and dex check, so he would. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Curious. He's, still... he's still stunned. He's still no, stunned. No, he would. He needs like a con check, so he would still. Have yeah, that's why I just did. Oh no, I, I just, I just did it on a private channel, but yeah, he, he still, he's still stunned. Okay, and I still have two more attacks. Yeah, with you advantage. Do. Yeah. Um, and Ambrose. Kind of Every enemy his... from here on is going to be immune to stuns. Just kidding. <laughs> turns his shoulder um, sideways so he can like stick his arm through like the hole in Balazar in Zogmar's arms. So he's just kind of like punching like in the gap they're making. Red Rover, Red Rover. And he like turns his hips and like punches his arm. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um, and you, he can just kind of, like, hear cracking through the... Through, like, the commotion. And he turns, um, 180 degrees. And attacks with... And punches with his right hand into the same spot. Oh. Christ. <laughs> Yet again, the, uh, As you... Punch. Alright, this is very important. Do you punch his head off? Uh, I don't think I can get his head. I am punching kind of to the with my right hand um, into right. his like ribs. Or, I don't all know. Right. Maybe, maybe the energy. <laughs> no, alright. Okay. It, as you punch him through, he just immediately just crumples back into ash and, and just. And is completely just obliterated now. And, and then, all right. Uh, before I say this next, I just want to say what bug actually rolled and why yeah. decapitation was so it important. Yeah. It, um, it, 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 it won't matter anymore. now. So what that did was, if the target is beheaded, its head starts founding prophecies for one d four turns. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> That's why I was so confused. Oh, if only. So if only it he had actually cut off his head, he would have started <laughs> speaking nonsense. He would have been speaking <laughs> prophecies, no things that would come true. <laughs> We would have the we would have the head of John the Baptist. <laughs> it, would, it would be like God of War, like. Yeah. But <laughs> we just have Bamir. Yeah. All right, and then now that there are no more bodies around, it's just piles of ash literally everywhere. Um, from behind you, um, you hear more cracks of electricity as I, as two more cultists spawn again. From behind you, and then all the bodies of the cults, except for RE2, uh, respawn and like to just reassemble themselves back into what they use into, you know, their usual forms. And then from right next to you, another one comes back, 
or not comes back, spawns in. <laughs> so long I need to add him to the layer again. That's map layer, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> He is part of map now. No, I'm moving the entire, yo, the entire map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, I it. He got the no bug actually got the thing on the web eject that makes Earth's gravity three times as fast, like the rotation is yeah. three times as fast. But that's Earth's gravity, not Solkus. <laughs> oh wow, are we really doing that so it just wouldn't work? No. Yeah. No. Um and then it, I all these cultists uh, just come back and start slowly <laughs> approaching all of you. Uh, they, they do still have the X's. I don't care. You all <laughs> suddenly hear another voice in your head. <laughs> this time being like far more ominous, yet like friendlier. It says, hmm, enough of this fighting. The Shronalon embraces all of you. And then from like, as you... You sort of feel like something is grabbing the back of your neck <laughs> as you all just are lifted up and then your vision goes black immediately. And that ends combat and our first break. We just got despawned. You hate to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get out the song. Wow, that was really good. Thank you. That was good. Yeah. Uh, do I know how much... Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll be back soon. I if uh, I could go get dinner, but I only have ten minutes. I don't really want to go have to run to go get dinner. One's probably not good. Is it worth it? Mm hmm. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs>